before. He was off turtles. The turtles can't handle that violent water. It, it was killing actual turtles. It probably killed fish. Exactly. You're you know, getting it right here live from Big Wave. And this it, is what it, this it is. It was really a big disaster that struck, and it was one of the biggest animal losses from a hurricane ever in history of time. You know, most hurricanes take a lot of animals, but this one, this one did the worst damage. It, it took over about three million lives of wildlife, just from farm animals, from a household cat or dog, or your pet bird or ferret or your guinea pig, straight up to humans and horses and cows and birds and chickens and goats and the pigs and it all went bye-bye. The big old bears and the the bears like you said, the whole the family. Black bears, they're in the way, they died. They couldn't handle that force of that water and you know, birds lost their lives because of the, the wind and the stress. And pretty much that takes them all their lives. And there's this, you know, the creatures go smaller, snakes, all kinds of, you got a lot of those lizards up there in the mountains, the mountain lizards. Yeah. They probably perish by the thousands of just those alone it's you know? crazy yeah we were just talking about you know it didn't even fix itself after ian and now they, they can't you know can't now fix came... ian. they can't fix debbie that just struck oh yeah how are they going to fix this one this is just going to be another one just going unfixed and this is communities and and the astrology says everything is in community now, and rising now waters in five days in five more days Florida's getting hit by a Category 2 hurricane. No one knows this, but... No, I know. I've already been watching it. I've been watching it, dude. I'm already... Now there's maybe a three. We'll see. But I'm, I'm saying maybe one of But there's three out there. That's what I'm saying. out here. And, and this one's going to come from this way. Yeah, the and west one that's west, coming over. Like and there's an east one. And, and I say the same one. thing as you. I've been watching it. And I was like, dude, this is going to be one of them perfect storms because... Where we got a moon that has an asteroid going around it right got now. Two moons. Yep. We got a comet in the sky. Uh, yep. And there's a comet out there. If you wake up early enough before the sun, we have a comet in the sky over here on the horizon. We have two moons. We have mayhem all over the planet. <laughs> That's right. Also, Mother Nature's not happy, so she's sending her fury of storms and volcanoes and earthquakes around the planet right now she's unhappy with what's going on, going on in the on world in the world right now so that's the way i look at it it's, Me it's too. not a payback for anybody it's just what mother nature does she creates certain things to make certain things happen for a reason everything happens for a reason even that her because of all the toxins that are out there in the yeah. soils and Hurricanes. she's wrecking up, she's pulling them up from the bottom and remaking the soils she's right now too. Cleansing everything. Yes. It's a called, it's like she's cleaning. When they send these hurricanes through, it cleans the reef, it cleans the shoreline, it cleans the sand, it cleans the air. Yeah. It strips the trees that brings back new growth and stronger growth. In time, it's bad when it happens, but Mother Nature does everything for a reason to bring back Earth stronger and stronger. Everything comes back stronger and stronger in time. There's You're it. right, man. So it's the same with the ocean. The big waves hit the reef. It cleanses the reefs. It strips the reefs, but those reefs grow stronger every time. The mm -hmm. corals are going to be stronger than next year because it ripped all the pollutions and everything that's been just laying on the reef. It just gets stripped. So the hurricanes are actually good for a lot of things. Might be bad for some things, but good for others. Yes. They're here for a reason. It's, the Earth's got these little spinning things for a reason. <laughs> That's right. And you really have to look hard to find that storm that we're talking about. But there, the three of them are out there. And the way it's looking, <laughs> Big Wave says it's coming. I know it's coming. And he's got one coming around the back. Backside is off one more time. That'll be next Wednesday or so. We're going to have one after it passes by, maybe try to slip up below as another littler one, and we'll have a couple big ones sitting in front of us, sending some big waves our way. Like I said, so how it doesn't hit, it sends a big wave, and it cleanses the coastline, and strips the sands, and cleanses the sands, and replenishes it to new sand, you know? It makes yeah. it fresh again. It's the oils out of it, and dirt, and 
So what are you looking like? You're thinking like within five days that one's going to hit? Because I was days, thinking like... It's going to hit maybe around Fort Myers, Tampa, maybe more Fort Myers, I'm not sure yet. And maybe come right across here, Palm Beach, up to maybe like Sebastian Inlet, Cocoa Beach. The storm will come out here, but it's going to affect all of us. The storm, and then the, the storm's 300 miles wide, so it's going to affect everybody. Right. So then big waves, big wind. The east, the east storm that's out there. This one goes this way, and then this low one. The two are going to turn, but the low one might come down and get caught up in this tail of that one. We'll see. That's what I think is gonna happen. Like, yo, I just say if big wave says it's happening, it's happening. It's and that's it. That way, and this one's gonna get pulled into this one and go that way because they all want to get pulled into each other. Yes. And getting the one stronger, it's gonna pull the other one from this way. And, and the two moons. The two moons are gonna make the tide stronger. The astrology, uh, just yeah, talking going, about the waters. Everything's going pretty big out there in outer space right now. I know that much. Yeah, man. We have a comet in view right now. It's pretty cool. So you, know, you see it in the morning, you in said? In the morning before the sun comes up. It's about the last hour before sunrise. If there's no clouds right here, you can see it just sitting there. You can clearly see it with your eye, too. Perfect comet. Yeah. It's so tail. it's east? It's straight out to the east, yeah. The east end. horizon. Oh, right in this area. And you won't miss it. It's it's a full comet. Like It looks like a star with a big tail on it. Oh my god. I can totally see it. You probably zoom in with I got the no, I got the zoom lens now. I yeah. got a zoom thing, so yeah. I'm gonna have to try this. Can, yeah, what time can, like before just go to the beach before the sun comes in. When it's dark. And sit right here. Why it's dark. Anywhere at the beach. <laughs> right that way. It's a common. It could be you could be in New York, you could be here, you could be in Jamaica. And you're gonna see it. As long as you look that way in the morning. Alright, so it's people are east. doing pictures everywhere, you know, around some pictures it's pretty nice i'm not on facebook or instagram yeah, so uh, i was last to see anything on uh in yeah, north carolina i'm oh, like man. yeah i don't even want to look on my pages or anything anymore it's yeah too, it's too bad right now for me to see all that i know i but i feel oh, like you like some something beautiful is gonna arise out of all this and okay. you know we just have to be community you know and i oh, love man. that we just did this Lord, that we just did this yeah, oh my yeah, goodness yeah. so yeah we're gonna put a prayer out there into the ocean and yeah. and big waves gonna do do this like segment of good intention into the water what do you have big wave well, the mother ocean is there she's there for all of us we worship her i worship the mother ocean she's a beautiful thing she's a She's the source of everything on the earth. She's the movement. She controls the earth, the spin of the earth, everything. The mother ocean is our balance. It's a water balance. It's like a level. It keeps the earth on level. It keeps us all in balance with each other. And we all stay safe every day. We have to the mother ocean. Yeah, so we're putting our good intention into the ocean, into the air, into this universe that people stay protected, that everyone is blessed with joy in their hearts and love in their hearts. Everyone is healed from anything that's going on and that the world becomes a peaceful place. World peace exists and we embrace it and we allow it to happen. So if we hold that energy and that space for world peace, we will have world peace. So we're taking that time to put that loving energy of peace into the world and healing and calmness for all that are going through this chaotic time and turn it into a beautiful new beginning for all. There's a brighter side to everything. And There'll be better days ahead. Truth. Job well.